What's rarer than finding a four-leaf clover? Rarer than being struck by lightning? Or even rarer than winning the lottery? They're such exceptional occurrences that the chances of them happening to you seem slim. But there are even more impossibly rare events in this world that make those things look common. From finding the rarest element on Earth to spawning the rarest Minecraft mob, it's time to take a look at some of the least possible things to happen in the known universe. All right, let's start small to establish a scale. Your odds of drawing a heart or any specific suit from a deck of 52 playing cards is one in four. Each suit has 13 cards, giving you a 25% chance of blindly drawing a specific suit. Moving on, your odds of being left-handed are around one in 100. The preference for using the left hand over the right comes from the way the brain is arranged. The left half controls the right side of the body and vice versa. Most people's brains use the left hemisphere to determine fine motor control, so the right hand becomes dominant. Left-handedness could be down to a small genetic mutation in our distant past, which is genetically passed down to an increasingly small amount of lefties today. Next, twins. Identical twins occur when one fertilized egg splits into two fetuses that end up sharing the same genetic information. That means your odds of being born a twin are around one in 250. Inexplicably, the country of Benin boasts a twin birth rate seven times higher than average at seven in 250. Pokemon, we've caught them all. But did you know that in the games, each Pokemon has a very, very low chance of being shiny? These different colored Pokemon are generated randomly by the game, but each wild encounter only produces a one in 4,096 chance of a Pokemon being shiny. In the older games, your odds were even worse at one in 8,912. It's a miracle anybody really did catch them all. Flipping a coin is always 50-50, right? Well, not exactly. When you flip a coin, it actually has about a one in 6,000 chance of landing directly on its side assuming you're flipping it onto a flat surface and with no wind or coin meddlers to alter the result. So in reality, when you flip a coin, it's more like you have a 49.99999% chance of it being heads or tails. Have you ever gone hunting for a lucky four-leafed clover? They're almost impossible to spot amidst all the three-leafed ones. So it's no surprise that it's estimated the odds of a clover having four leaves are just one in 10,000. The fourth leaf comes from a regressive mutation or environmental damage with one clover being the leaf of a larger plant. Doesn't sound so lucky now. Now this next one is why I stick to crazy golf. The odds of your average golfer landing a hole in one are just one in 12,500. With that in mind, it's pretty amazing that Tiger Woods hit 20 holes in one across his career, right? Then again, he isn't exactly your average golfer. Albinism is a condition that occurs due to a lack of melanin in the body, which is a pigment that adds color to hair and skin. This rare genetic mutation leads albino humans to have pale skin and white blonde hair. In most of the world, albinism occurs in around one in every 18,000 people. I guess you could say the rest pale in comparison. Gigantism and acromegaly are conditions that arise if your pituitary gland produces too many growth hormones. People with these conditions can grow to over eight feet tall and are around three or four in a million. This means your odds of being super tall are somewhere between one and 250,000 and one and 333,333. The tallest individual with this disorder, and not coincidentally the tallest man to ever live, was Robert Wadlow, who grew to an amazing eight feet 11 inches tall. That means he was half as tall as a giraffe. Let's return to cards for a minute. In poker, a royal flush is the best hand you can get and consists of an ace, king, queen, jack, and 10 of the same suit. As there are four suits in a deck of cards, this means you have four shots at getting a royal flush. But don't hold your breath, as your chances of getting the specific cards to make this on the river are just one in 649,740. This means that if you were dealt 20 hands of poker every night, you'd still only expect to see one royal flush in 89 years of play. Let's hope when that does happen, you bet big. Have you ever seen a royal flush in action? Statistically, someone in the comment section must have. Let me know down below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more mind-boggling content. 
All right, where were we? Being mauled to death by a bear is a fear many people have, but how likely is it really? In the United States, bears kill between two and five people each year. When you compare that to the number of deaths recorded by the CDC in 2017, that means your odds of being munched by a bear in the US are just two to five and 2,813,420, or around one in 804,000. That's rare. So rare that you're about 60 times more likely to be killed by your toaster. Nice helping of perspective for those of us afraid of bear attacks there. So now we know you have about a one in 10,000 chance of finding a four leaf clover. Let's get crazy. What about five leaves? Yeah, they exist, and they're much rarer than four-leafers. It's estimated that you only have about a one in one million chance of finding a clover with five leaves, thanks to that previously mentioned recessive mutation. Happy hunting. All right, it was only a matter of time before we got here. How likely are you to be struck by lightning? According to the National Weather Service, your odds of being struck in a given year, where there's an average of 1.4 billion strikes around the world, are just one in 1,222,000. Assuming you live to be 80 years old, that means your lifetime odds are one in 15,300, or 0.0065%, which is actually a lot higher than I thought. I'm shocked. Despite what most people think, lobsters aren't naturally red. Most of the time in the wild, they're more of a muddy brown. When cooked or exposed to heat, their shells become redder, most of the time. In some rare occurrences, lobsters can be born with a mutation that results in some pretty wild pigmentation in their shells. For example, the chance of a lobster being bright blue are about one in two million, but they still taste delicious, which is all that matters in my opinion. Back to the cards. While your odds of getting a regular old royal flush are generous, one in 649,740, things get a lot trickier if you're picky. If you're angling for a royal flush of a specific suit, diamonds for example, your odds decrease to just one in 2,598,960. While this may seem crazy, these are actually your odds of getting dealt any specific poker hand. I would say that sharks are even scarier than bears, but guess what? They're also less dangerous. Sharks were responsible for the deaths of just 11 people worldwide in 2021. The International Shark Attack File puts your odds of getting bitten by a shark at just one in 3,748,067. To put that into perspective, you're way more likely to be killed by giraffes, which cause around 190 deaths per year. But even these numbers are dwarfed by the unassuming freshwater snail, which by some estimates claims over 20,000 lives per year. These snails can carry worms, which can cause schistosomiasis, a very nasty disease and an unpleasant way to go think I'd prefer being eaten by a shark. Super Mario Maker is a popular Nintendo game where players can create, edit, and share their own levels based on the tried and true Mario Brothers platform scroller formula. Not long after release, people were uploading some truly crazy and creative levels, but none as daunting as the lucky draw, created by user Phenotype. The level is short and simple, but holds a dark secret. It can only be beaten if six Magic Koopas transform six blocks into coins. Then all six coins need to move to the right to avoid activating a death switch. Your odds of beating this course are estimated to be one in seven and a half million. In 2019, after 4.2 million worldwide attempts, a user by the name of Josh finally completed the level legitimately and a few million tries sooner than expected. It's reported that around 40% of travelers are afraid of flying in some way, and that's understandable. If man was meant to fly through the air at hundreds of miles per hour, we'd have developed wings. Still, the odds of actually getting into a plane crash are just one in 11 million. And even if you do, between 90 and 96% of people involved in airline accidents escape unscathed. As one statistician put it, if you took one flight a day, you would have to travel for 55,000 years before getting into an accident but think of all the air miles you'd have by then. Now back to lobsters. As it turns out, these creatures don't just come in red, brown, or blue. Thanks to that previously mentioned mutation, the chances of finding a yellow fellow like this guy is approximately one in 30 million, but that's not even the half of it, literally. Check out this split-colored lobster. Talk about having the best of both worlds. 
With the shell containing not one, but two separate colors, the mutational odds of a lobster having a carapace like this are between just 1 in 50 and 1 in 100 million. Somehow, this just makes them look even more tasty to me. In the United States, your odds of winning the Powerball lottery tend to float somewhere between 1 in 290 million and 1 in 300 million. To visualize just how astronomical these odds are, imagine 290 million lottery tickets stacked on top of each other. This pile would reach about 95,000 feet high, which is five times the size of Mount Kilimanjaro. Now imagine standing in front of this super stack of tickets and picking one out. Those are your odds of winning the lottery. About 0.000005%. Some people choose to boost their odds by buying tickets in bulk, but even if you bought 100 tickets, your odds would still be just 0.00005%. Not much better. In order to stand a 1% chance of winning, you'd need to buy 2 million tickets. Considering tickets frequently sell for two bucks a pop, that means that 1% chance would cost you $4 million. Going purely by the numbers, if you wanted to secure a 100% chance of winning, you'd need to spend $400 million on tickets. But considering the jackpot in the States is sometimes over a billion dollars, you'd actually still make a profit as long as you don't mind sorting through five Kilimanjaro's worth of tickets. Are you old and nerdy enough to remember spending your allowance on Yu-Gi-Oh cards and desperately hoping for a great rare card? No? You're not ancient like me? Well, maybe you're more familiar with Hearthstone, the hugely popular online trading card game. Much like my ancient Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Hearthstone cards also come in packs, but digitally. Cards in the game range from mundane to incredibly rare, and your chances of opening a pack that contains five legendary golden cards is one in 3.2 billion. Man, I'm gonna need to ask my mom to increase my allowance. Let's talk banana peels. The Scourge of Mario Kart. We've all seen a cartoon where someone hilariously slips on one, but how likely is it to actually happen? According to the Times Post, your odds of beating your end via a fruit peel mishap are just one in three and a half billion. Consider then the tragic demise of Bobby Leach, a born daredevil who parachuted out of hot air balloons and went over Niagara Falls in a barrel in 1911. In 1926, he slipped on an orange peel, fatally. Orange you glad it wasn't a banana? This next entry is very special because it's you. At the time I'm making this video, your odds of being uniquely you are 1 in 7.75 billion. And those odds are only going to shrink in your lifetime as the population increases. In fact, it's estimated you'll be 1 in 8 billion less than a year from now. Yay, I'm special! Dungeons & Dragons is an incredibly popular, incredibly nerdy tabletop role-playing game. That's basically my only form of social interaction. You have six stats in D&D, and when you create a character, you determine each of them by rolling four six-sided dice, removing the lowest result and adding the remaining dice totals together. This means the highest you can roll for a stat is 18. But if you want to create the most overpowered character ever, be patient, because your chances of rolling an 18 for every stat are 1 in 55,555,555,555. 555. If you did, maybe you could finally make a good ranger? Okay, apologies to all ranger players, and normal people, because that's the dorkiest joke I've ever made. So your odds of getting a single royal flush are so low, you probably won't ever get one in your life, but that's nothing. You see, as rare as that is, we know people have gotten royal flushes. As far as we know though, no poker table in history has, or likely ever will, see two at the same time. The odds of this phenomenon occurring are a staggering 1 in 422 billion, 162 million, 67,600. In case you're wondering, there's no official ruling on who would win if it did happen. Have you ever cracked an egg open to find two yellow yolks staring back at you? If you have, count yourself lucky, as the odds of an egg having two yolks are just one in 1,000. If you've ever cracked six eggs and found 12 yolks, count yourself a miracle worker, because the odds of finding an entire carton of Dobo yolkers are one in 10 trillion. The raw math here would tell us these odds would be closer to one in 10 quintillion. However, it turns out when a young bird lays its first egg, it's more likely to be a double yoker at around one in 100 odds. 
As eggs in a carton often come from birds around the same age, the odds the first egg you crack will have two yolks is one in 1,000, while every subsequent egg is one in 100. Double yolk eggs are so prized, we've bred chickens solely to produce these improbable treats. In this case, you wouldn't really be lucky, just a satisfied customer. Fingerprints are incredibly unique, and everybody has them. In fact, assuming all fingers are intact, everybody has 10, and they're all unique. If you don't believe me, try unlocking an iPhone with an unregistered finger. Even identical twins have different fingerprints. The individuality of fingerprints has been known a long time. As early as 1894, scientists were estimating the odds of two people sharing the same fingerprints were one in 64 trillion. Crazier still is with that in mind. In 2004, the FBI arrested an innocent man named Brandon Mayfield based on his fingerprints matching a criminal though this was later found to be down to laziness on the part of the FBI, rather than incalculably bad luck on the part of Mayfield. Way to make us proud, FBI. Meet Frano Selleck, who may be the unluckiest man to ever live. In 1962, Frano was riding on a train when it derailed and plunged into an icy lake beneath the tracks. The accident claimed 17 lives and left him the sole survivor. Two years later, he decided to travel on a plane for the first time, and last time, as his plane crashed mid-flight. On two separate occasions in the 1970s, Rhino's car burst into flames for seemingly no reason while he was inside. In 1995, he was struck by a bus, and in 1996, he was forced off the road and had to jump from his car as it plummeted off a cliff. That same year, he was riding the bus when it crashed, taking four people with it. If I were Rhino, I would never trust public transportation again. While this is just a rough calculation, I reckon the odds of one person getting into all these accidents is seven in one quadrillion, 930 trillion. Oh, and not to complicate things even further, but on his 73rd birthday, he won the lottery. Maybe he was the luckiest man on earth. All right, let's go all in on the cards odds. What are the chances you sit down with three other people, each draw five cards, and each one draws a royal flush hand? Well, now we're getting into near functionally impossible territory. The odds of this configuration being dealt are a mind-boggling one in 178 sextillion. I think we should just call it a draw. Four royal flushes may be hard to believe, but you know what's even harder? That's right, it's lobsters again. Check out this trio of split color beauties. If we work on the assumption that finding just one of these is a one in a hundred million chance, then finding three like this would be around a one in 10 to the power of 24 occurrence, or one in a septillion. Okay, that's it now. No more lobsters, I promise. These massive numbers can be a little hard to conceptualize, so consider this. A million seconds is about 12 days. A billion seconds is over 31 years and a trillion seconds is 31,709 years. And at this point, we're way beyond the trillions. Ugh, I feel nauseous. Meet Roy Sullivan, born in 1912, who may just beat Frano for the title of unluckiest man to ever live. Remember how earlier we discovered you have a one in 15,300 chance of being struck by lightning in your lifetime? Well, poor Roy was struck by lightning not once, not twice, but seven times. This earned Roy the nickname, the Human Lightning Rod. Now, Roy was a park ranger, which may clear some of this up. Being out in the open all day does make you more likely to get struck by lightning than someone in an office nine to five. However, Roy wasn't just struck by lightning on the job, but driving in his truck and in his own front yard. The odds of Roy living this tragic electrifying life are just one in 10 octillion. Sadly, towards the end of his life, Roy developed a phobia of clouds and thought they were following him. And you know what? With odds like that, he may have been right. In the year 2000, the utterly perplexing Fukang meteorite fell to Earth in China. Gotta be real careful of my pronunciation here. Estimated to be around four and a half billion years old, the beautiful rock is a bizarre mixture of iron and peridot. It's the only known meteorite of its kind. And while you may think that qualifies it for the rarest material on Earth, it's actually not even close. That would be astatine. The Earth's crust is made up of an unimaginable 13 septillion pounds of matter. That's a 13 with 24 zeros behind it. And of that unbelievable 13 with 24 zeros, only one ounce of astatine exists in it at a time. This means the one-of-a-kind space meteorite is over 35,000 times more common than astatine. 
at a time is also an important phrase there, because acetine has a shockingly short half-life of eight hours. This means that if you clumped a bunch of it in your hands, after eight hours, half of it would be gone. Also, you'd have cramped hands. This means your chances of finding an ounce of acetine is one in 13 septillion. But even that might not be accurate, as that number is comparing an ounce of acetine to pounds of Earth. As there are 16 ounces in a pound, it might be more accurate to say your odds are 1 in 13 septillion times 16. That's over 270 octillion. That's a lot of zeros, and we're not even done yet. On the surface, Minecraft appears simple, but don't be fooled. It's a big crazy game with lots of big crazy math. For example, a lot of calculations are made in determining what enemies spawn in your world, with some combinations being exceedingly rare. If you want to get silly, you can go out looking for a left-handed leader baby villager chicken jockey that can pick up items, is wearing diamond gear fully enchanted to level 8 with an enchanted iron sword of the same level. You'll be looking for a while though, because the odds of this spawning are 0.000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000